Hi, this is Keeper, and welcome to Direct Selling Live's Winter Edition of Distributor Magazine. As you know, Distributor Magazine is a free download that comes out quarterly. This is our second edition. It's been fun putting this thing together, and I'm really curious to see how it's going to flush out where it's going to go over the years to come. I think it's going to be pretty exciting. It's very different from most of the magazines that are out there for direct selling. Distributor Magazine, we look at all topics. It could be social, political, cultural, religious, and of course, business and distributor lifestyle-wise here. This winter edition, we begin to look at the upcoming political season, 2014, and the impact, the influence that owners in direct selling and our associations have on the American political process. This winter edition, we open up with Politics 2014, Rise of the Distributor, where direct selling and our number 16 to 20 million distributors can actually become in the future one of the most powerful voting blocks in all of American politics and global politics uh, as, as well. As we begin to look at the impact of the owners, the question then becomes where do the distributors fit in the conversation? So far, distributors in direct selling have been left out of that conversation, but Beginning in 2014, the rise of the distributors in the political process as a political voice, as a political power in American politics begins to take shape. So, we look at the DSA's Political Action Committee. Direct Selling Association has a political action committee. We also look at part of their website, which is called Champions of Direct Selling, where they have on their website a list of the legislators and political leaders who support direct selling bet you didn't know that. These are, from, these are political leaders, legislative leaders from state to state, who they are, what they represent, and the issues that not only impact direct selling, but your lifestyle away from direct selling. You need to know who these people are because, as I said, they impact your, your entire life. We're also going to begin to do something pretty revolutionary, pretty scary, I'm sure, for a lot of politicians and companies and associations. We are going to begin to start to score legislators, Congress people, and senators. Yeah, we're going to begin to look at them and score them as it relates to their impact and how they support us here in the community of direct selling. So that's going to be something really, really interesting something that you should begin to really pay attention to because how you react and how you begin to get into the process engage in the process is going to have a tremendous impact on how we score these legislative leaders from senators to congress people to governors to presidential hopefuls we're getting in the conversation you are going to be in that conversation as well so that should be pretty exciting as i said it's going to be pretty scary we're also for some politicians that possibly are for some owners that the rise of the distributors, you're actually going to be involved in the process. We're also going to begin to look at who are those power players. I've already mentioned some from Frank Vandersloot to the DeVos family, who happens to be some of the largest political donors in all of politics in the United States. Aside from that, we're also going to have again with us this particular issue. George Kennedy comes back as we as he looks at creating black wealth in direct selling. We also are going to have Cutco's Naomi and Benefo, one of the rising stars at Cutco. Cutco is one of the companies that really focuses on the high school and college community. So Naomi and Benefo is going to uh, be with us as we interviewed her to see what some of the Cutco strategies are all about. We also have Mary Kay's T uh, Tomi Sukamoto, another young rising star over at Mary Kay. Deb Bixler is back again with her uh, training session. This time it's going to be on creating success, particularly if you're a novice in direct selling. What's the mindset? What are the three keys that you need to know to create success in direct selling? Speaking of politics, New Hampshire has a individual who is looking to be a state representative and has run for state representative a number of times. Why is that important? Because Lisa Wilbur is one of the top distributors in Avon and has been for the past 32 years. We interview her to get her take on politics, how it impacts direct selling. You're going to really want to read this really insightful and powerful interview that I had with her. If you're looking to create quick PR in a, in a, in, in a crunch, you really need to get something out. The great Stephanie Moore is sharing an article on the five most 
powerful, quick things that you can do to create PR for your direct selling business. Also, keepers, direct sellers, get in shape for life. Fitness challenge just ended. We are going to have some stories of some of the people that were really, really successful in this fitness challenge. It has grown to become a very, very powerful and fun community. And from my standpoint, every direct seller needs to be in shape to do their business. So we're going to be talking about things you need to do to be in shape to do your business on a daily basis. Why? Because a lot of you go to work. You have kids. You have things that just happen every day. And if you're going to go out and do your business every night, every afternoon, you need to be in shape. I kid you not. You need to be in great shape. If for no other reason, you need to look like the product to lead with the product. That's all I have to say about that for now. And of course, something a little different where we're going to add the top five. Just something fun. What are the top five songs this year for direct sellers? The top five movies, the top five books, all of this and more in this quarter's edition of Direct Selling Lives Distributed Magazine. Just click the button down below, download it. It's free. It's a free PDF. Have at it. We'd love to get your feedback. Enjoy the winter edition of Distributor Magazine.